Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the future of free trade and what is to come on the free trade app. But before we get into the context of today's video, guys, if you could definitely consider subscribing to the channel. I want to go to get to 2,000 subscribers, so I need all the help I can get to get there. And also, when you've watched this video, definitely uh, consider giving it a thumbs up and a comment. It really does boost the YouTube algorithm. It helps boost my videos and channel to a broader audience and therefore, obviously, gaining me more traction. So that's it for the introduction guys so basically all i'm going to be going over today is the newly formed free trade roadmap which will be showing what new updates um, have happened on the app and then also things to expect on the future coming to the free trade app whether it be um obviously newer updates or what's and what obviously what to expect on the app in general also guys i have got a bit of a cold whilst recording so if i sound a bit nasally then i do apologize but anyway we'll get straight into the video now so the first section we'll look at is the recently shipped items basically anything that, um a new up, any new updates have been recently uh, come onto the app if you've updated the app so as you can see the list here now so we've got the launch free trade plus beta which um basically is free trade plus is a new subscription service which costs around 10 pound a month and you get um you get plenty of different um what's the word perks you'll get better customer service and more stocks to choose from so um, I'll discuss that a bit more later on in the video. And there's also thousands of new UK and US stocks. Obviously, that is a really good thing as well because the more stocks you have, the more you have to choose from investment-wise. I do know that Free Trade have added a lot of stocks since um, since I first started investing with them, which was around just over a year and a half ago now. I think they didn't have much choice when I first started. I think US stocks had only just gone onto the platform when I started. So they have improved uh, the amount of stocks they have. So it's good that they're continuing to add more. Uh, so next is a new order experience, which is basically, it's just showing you the FX conversion rate and shows a bit more neater when you're purchase, you purchasing a stock. It'll show you, if you, obviously if you're buying a US stock and you're in the UK, it'll show you how much you've actually bought it for and how much the FX conversion rate is. It's nothing too major, but it's just a nice little thing to experience on the app. So the next thing is uh, the money weighted return, which basically it'll be showing you how much up or down you are in your portfolio from a certain date percentage wise so i know at the moment you, ha you you can see whether you're up or down but it only has the actual value so how much actual money you're up, up or down in the green or red so this will show you a good percent wise at the moment as it is still a quite a fairly new feature which i think was only released last week you can only go back as far as march so it doesn't have your general since you've been investing so any investments you've made since march or money you've put in since then it'll show you how much you are up or down but i do know that they are uh, trying to expand that to get it to overall. So it's another cool thing that's on the app. So it'll be on the, ins I think it's on the ins insights tab and you you'll be able to see it there if you've done the update. So I think my portfolio is minus 5% at the moment, which isn't too bad considering March is when obviously the uh, economy and everything started down, stock market started falling rapidly. So, so and then uh, this is obviously recently shipped time. So this is stuff that's just come out. So invest by free trade. This is a while ago now, but that's just a basically what they call a certain update. So you had instant deposits with Apple Pay and Google Pay. So as soon as you upgraded to the Invest by Free Trade, you couldn't, um, when you put money on, you, it just went on straight away from your bank account. You, I think you used to have to wait around two hours or three hours b before the money actually hit your um, investment ISA. And also a smoother, faster app experience, which is to reduce the dependency from third party platforms. Also the, new, the other new feature, which has been out a few months now, so. Obviously, this is just a recap sort of thing on this section. Um, there's thousands of new stocks which you can get fractional shares in in the US. So, obviously, I've been investing in US markets um, in fractional shares the last few months now. That's a really good feature to have and quite necessity as well. As, as obviously, some US stocks cost a lot of money and you can't really, some people can't afford to buy the shares outright. And then this is this is that, um, this is that old, I think, the, the premium account which obviously will be launched in a few months, which is now called Free Trade Plus, which obviously I'll, talk, I'll discuss more about. So that's the investing by Free Trade update. It's quite old now, but I just thought I'd recap with you. Obviously, adding US stock, more US stocks to the universe. Obviously, again, it ties into the UK and US thousands of more stocks. So that's good that they're adding more stocks. And then the fractional US shares, which I've just discussed on as well, that's obviously been on the platform recently. So that, guys, that is a recently shipped updates on the free trade some cool ones there which i like so now we'll be taking a look at the things that free trade are working on so this is key features they'll be 
looking at adding over the next few months or so. So the first one is free share 2.0, which makes it easier for, for you to share a friend. I'm not, I don't have much information on this one. I'm assuming you can get more than one free share. I'm not sure, but if anyone knows in the comments, guys, let me know. Again, more stocks, but including European stocks this time. I'm doing all the heavy in the US and UK market, and they do have some European stocks on currently, but if they're adding more, and it's again, it's widening the variety of um, investments you can have. Stock fundamentals, see, that's the next one. I think this is a key one as, at the moment, free trade is really limited with the amount of uh, information you have on stocks. I think it has, all, has only a short paragraph at the moment. So I'm, again, you can't really check out, there's not, there's not a read more section on this part. So I'm assuming the stock fundamentals for me, it's the um, market cap, PE ratio, sort of um, balance sheets, dividend information, such, such as how much the yield is. Uh, X dividend dates, which is always cool to know. Obviously, you have to check that on third party websites or apps as well. And obviously, just gem more general information about companies, guys. I do think that's probably where they're sort of heading. And maybe they won't have all that information on it at first, but a bit more information than they have now would be good. Would, would be a good start. Again, the time weighted return, which is just pretty much the same as the um, on the last on the on the um, how much your portfolio is up or down, basically over time i think that's i think that's the next update so they obviously be over a longer period of time they'll be showing you the priority customer service which again it says in brackets which is a plus perk only so i, I, feel, I feel like if you have a query of free trade and you're, you're upgraded to plus you'll probably get a reply about within minutes i'd say but sometimes now it could be an hour or two whether they get back to you but i'm sure they are busy they have over they have a lot of uh, customers to be fair so obviously people do get problems with many different things on the app so it's understandable SIPPs, which is a self, um, which is a bit, oh, I forgot the actual name of it now, but it's um, basically where it's a pension plan on free trade, but you sort of have more control of what you're investing in. Obviously, now if, if you have personal pensions, a lot of the time your money just gets taken away and invested or put wherever, and you don't really have much say in where it goes. But with this feature on free trade, you'll be able to see where exactly your money's going. You can sort of manage the fund more, which again is good. Moneybox have one like this. So again, you're taking more control of your future with your own pension. So that's good. Another good uh, feature that's going to be coming on the app. Many more plus features, which it doesn't really say. And then obviously the next one's a big one. If you're not in the UK, Free Trade Europe will be rolling out. Which, so obviously you'll be able to use this app if you're in many other different European countries. So that's good for you guys. So that's it for the key features for the things they're currently working on. So now we'll be taking a look at the things they're exploring. So this is the more slightly longer term, I feel. So it's in discovery mode. So it basically means they're gathering information, sort of looking at what new uh, features they can add in the future. So trading the biggest European shares and ETFs again, that's um, something that's probably required, obviously, if you want, if you want to, if you want to compete, they want to try and obviously get more hands on more stocks and get into different markets. So the European sector would be a good one. And here's one I've sought, I've been looking for, which is buying and selling fractions of non-US shares. So at the moment, you can only buy fractional shares of um, American companies. Uh, so obviously, any UK ones, you can't invest fractional shares in the moment. But obviously, that they are, that will that's something they will be looking into, which obviously I'm, I'm delighted at. I've been looking forward to that since they announced the US ones. I was a bit gutted when I found out you can only do it in the American stocks, but at least I know it's in the works. Making it easy to identify good investments and bad investments. Again, that's um, probably more stock information. Give you sort of a bit, of, a few more tips on whether it is good to invest in a certain company or index fund. So it just makes the user, uh, obviously, you're not relying on third party apps to get your research from really. So it's keeping more people on free trade, which is good. And then an even greater insight into portfolio performance. This again, is obviously it's been hinted in the market return that you, on the previous updates that I've just been discussing. So, um, yes, yeah, so obviously, if you have more information, you can see where your sort of portfolio will be, what stocks are causing the most damage to your portfolio, which are doing the best for your portfolio. So that's really good. And then also improve share price data. Cause at the moment, it sort of is a bit hit and miss with like, obviously on some platforms, it says share prices are different to it as on free trade. I've, I've noticed in the community i think i've seen on twitter and on in youtube comments as well people sort of get a bit mixed up with how much um, a stock actually costs so that would be good to get a bit more information into that 
so that is pretty much it guys so just sort of getting you up to date with the free trade app and what they've um what they've been looking at uh so but what i'm just going to show you quickly now guys which i did say i'd touch up on is the free trade subscription so we'll just take a look now the free trade plus account so basically it's 9.99 a month launching in autumn 2020 so that's very soon so they said why should you go on plus you get even more stocks and created collections priority customer service more order types like limited orders and stop losses which they do have on trading 212 at the moment you can sort of if you you can buy a stock when it gets you can set at the start of a day if, if um say for example you want to buy a share of coca-cola at 48 dollars you can set it so when it reaches that you will instantly buy the stock so that's really good and the same when you're selling a stock as well if you want to sell a stock when it reaches a certain price you can set it at the start of the day and then when the market closes it'll sell for you at that price or whenever it hits that price so that's another good feature and also at the moment you have to pay three pound for stocks and shares isa but with this subscription service you'll be getting that for free so it makes sense really because they don't really want to be charging you 10 pound a month then the free uh, three pound for the stocks and shares ice on top of that so yeah so it's free so that's um, 9.99 a month for the free trade plus i'm not sure whether i'll be getting that i'm completely honest with you but i'll just have to wait and see see what happens in the future so anyway guys that is pretty much it for the video today i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments below definitely consider subscribing and giving a thumbs up get the youtube algorithm working for me come on i need it <laughs> so anyway guys i'll leave you two on that take care bye